الله ربنا هو الإله له من الأسماء ما اصطفاه الواحد الحي كذا المليك والملك المالك لا شريك إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ به من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مدل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم ليلة القدر I'm looking for it It is worthy that as a Muslim we count ليلة القدر as a great blessings from Allah to the Muslims the Previous generation before Islam lived lives longer than we do in this time of ours In those times to find people like Prophet Noah alayhi salam alayhi salatu wassalam whom Allah told us he lived for 950 years for only preaching we've not counted part of his own lifetime but the lifetime he spent for preaching to people that refused to accept him is to accept him uh, about 950 years as Allah stated in the Quran we find people living more longer years than our own time So Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam did beseech Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that those generations before us have opportunity of getting greater reward for their deeds because their lifespan is longer and they worship that by implication they will have worship Allah longer and get greater reward than we of this ummah so he was beseeching Allah for a favor So Allah grants him favor, not of this Laylatul Qadri, even for more other things. But we want to talk about this of Laylatul Qadri to be specific. Laylatul Qadri, Allah made it just a night. Night in Islam starts from Maghrib and it ends at Fajr. Maghrib to Fajr. So when you pray your Maghrib prayer, the other day has started. And it ends by Fajr. That's the night time ends at Fajr time. So... Whenever Laylatul Qadr is to set in it sets in just about Maghrib time and it will end just about Fajr time so whatever worship you want to do if you do it within that time and it's the period of Laylatul Qadr that worship will be multiplied as if you've worship continue worshiping Allah for over 8 more than 83 years for month more than not equal to more than 83 years for month which is about uh 1000 months Allah specifically made us to understand what this Laylatul Qadr is all about when he revealed the verse called Surah Al-Qadr he says in that surah in anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr Allah revealed the whole of the Quran from Dawh al-Mahfuz to the heaven above us the first heaven above us here in the night of Laylatul Qadr Allah brought the whole of the Quran and partly portion by portion it is revealed from that heaven to the prophet based on the needs and requirement of what is happening that required him the revelation to be revealed to him on earth so the whole of the quran was taken from the mahfuz to this head first heaven in the laylatul qadr wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr allah is now asking who will have informed you how great is as if there is nothing in this world that can make you perceive how great it is this this laylatul qadr is wa ma adraka ma laylatul who will have informed you or will make you perceive the, or what this laylatul qadr is one of the things you will know about this laylatul qadr allah na said laylatul qadr khairun min alf shahr this night of qadr this night of decree qadr means decree khairun min alf shahr Allah says it's better than is better than it's not equal to but better than 1000 months which we said is uh, about 83 years 4 months if it's 1000 months but it is better is more than it is better than it abal anbiya'i alayka as-salatu alayka as-salam 